Hey guys, today we're going to make a, a road with Parallaxia in Dungeon Draft that's sort of an infinitely scrollable road. Um, I'm doing a 45 by 15 um, map just to kind of get us started. And we're just going to lay down a really simple road here. I'm just using the stock Dungeon Draft um, artwork to do this. Uh, you don't have to get it too exact right now. Just generally, the, the two sides have to be roughly the same. And then what I'm doing is I'm selecting an object, in this case, a tree, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna put that object directly, the center of that object directly in the corner of this map. And you'll see why I'm gonna do that here in a second. It could be a tree, you could do a signpost, but it helps to use an object because you can see that I'm using the exact, I'm using the two different mirrored sides of that object essentially. And when you end up uh, making this, it's gonna help make this whole map look more seamless because the same object will will not have a seam in the middle of it. And that's really our goal here. So, you know, we're going to place the rest of the trees. It really doesn't matter what you put in the middle of this. As long as those two edges, the left side and the right side, match, uh, you can make this thing seamless. And we'll just give it just because I can't possibly do a map without shadows. We'll throw some shadows under these trees. And then uh, once we're done here, we're going to take it into Foundry, and I'll show you um, how to use the Parallaxia tool there. So what I'm going to do here is I'm looking at where the grass ends, and I'm counting the squares, and I'm getting it to where it's roughly the same thing, as exact as it can make it. So on the right side, I want to get that last pixel to be around where the last grass pixel is on the left side. I'm doing the same thing with the... Um, uh, with the stones here. And once I feel like I've got it pretty good, then I'm gonna save it. Now you're looking at one I built in Dungeon Draft already. Um, we're gonna take the one we just built and do the same thing with it. So I'm gonna start by just giving us, using it as the static background for this particular map. But then I'm going to immediately lay a, a permanent tile or a separate tile of the exact same thing on top of it. So I've got the background is this, and that gives me just a static background in case, you know, I want to use this map for anything else or I want the thumbnail to generate properly. But now what I did was I dragged another image and you can see the tile is sitting right on top of my background tile. I lined them up. And the way you can test it is you right click it and you hit the little Parallaxia button. You can see it immediately starts going and it starts at negative 50. I'm going to go the opposite direction, positive 100. And that's the speed I think that is a good walking speed. I just increased it to positive 500 just to show you if you wanted to do a chase scene, that's how you change the speed of it. Uh, so now I've got it at positive 100. I'm going to throw down a cart and I'll put a little horse on our cart. And you can see that the, you know, there is no perceptible part of the map that, um, you know, that, that looks like it's off. It, it essentially is infinitely scrollable. So this is how you can create uh, chase scenes and things like that. And you can do it really easily with Dungeon Draft. Um, and you can get super creative with, uh, with how you do this. You notice I have some macros where I can turn Parallaxia on or off. You may want to get a hold of those. You can get them in my uh, Bailey Wiki module if you want them for free. That's it. Hopefully you guys have fun.